Okay, today in this SDS4 uh, demonstration, uh, we're going to have a quick look at um, how to receive uh, purchase orders in, uh, like for example your warehouse, how they receive POs, uh, and have a quick look at the overview of the inspection process uh, and how that's saved in the system. Alright, so what we have to do first is go to shipping and receiving, the button at the top here, <coughs> and I click on the left, receive PO. Now when parts are received in, they should have a purchase order number with the parts and that's really the only thing we need to go off. Um, there are other ways of doing it but usually that's there every time. So these parts are coming from DigiKey. So I'm going to select this particular PO because I've matched that up. That's the line I want to inspect. So I double click on that and then I'm going to click on inspection report up here. I'm going to click on default inspection report. There are two. There are idea and, in, uh, and default. I'm just going to click on the idea one first. But today I'm going to demonstrate the uh, the default inspection report. Alright, so there are various different menus that you need to go through and all the, the, uh, all the boxes are mandatory so you need to select them all. Okay, so I'm going to go through very very quickly and, uh, and show um, how we actually do a inspection. Obviously these things would be checked against the parts but just to show you how things um, actually go through Okay, so we've got a max, one, two, three, location, OK, breakdown, hundreds. Okay, the tracking number the parts came in on, so you can verify this back later if you need to. It's always going to be on the inspection report. It came in UPS, number of boxes delivered, three, <coughs> condition of the boxes were good, they came in reels, did the parts show any sign of damage? No, which is good. So next, and then it it actually gives you prompts of things to check. So even if you have somebody that's never really inspected parts before, it actually gives you prompts of things to check, maybe things you wouldn't necessarily think of before, um, and also things that you do know that maybe you need reminding of. Okay, so just go through these. You have a quick read down. Do the parts show signs of dust or sand? Improper handling, storage. Relevant questions that, that are prompted to ask on every single inspection verification physical package type we'll select BGA for now okay QC management so a chip test for blank no so not required x-ray parts no not applicable swab test yes passed so at the end of the inspection report you can see if the parts are rejected or the parts are accepted. We're going to accept the parts. You can put any notes in there you need to as well and I'm going to save it. Inspection report saved. If I click on print I can now preview the inspection report. As you see up here I can see everything the supplier and um, the PO number, the sales order number, were the parts accepted or rejected and all the prompt questions and these um, test these um, inspection reports will be available uh, to the salespeople upstairs in the uh, in the sales office from the warehouse so they can check anyone in the quality department or the managing director anybody in the company that has authorization to do so can check any inspection reports of any parts that have come in to make sure the company is receiving good product in all the time all right so all I do is close that in the system that test report saved I click receive item okay and if I want to upload an image into the system as well, I just click Upload Image and I press OK to receive. I'm just going to receive it this time. Now that's received in the system. And that's how you receive parts in from a PO being sent and how you inspect the parts and save the test report. 